Hey there, and thank you so much for watching. I am once again super inspired by Budget Girl and watching the collab that she started that How Do I Find Time um, for YouTube and a full-time job, which I can't really participate in because I haven't been finding time for YouTube <laughs> for the past like three months. I just kind of dropped off the face of the YouTube earth. Um, but I thought the idea of finding time was super interesting. And that's something that I'm interested in. Like I love watching um, videos of people who are super uh, productive and finding out like how they structure their day and how they sort of cram it all in. So to that end, I thought I'd kind of talk about the idea of time. Um, and I guess for me, the idea of it's less about time because what you really want to know is how you get so much done um because i know like steve rakin uh from rakin profit i'll link his channel below because he's um he's pretty cool he did one a, a video about finding time to get all his stuff done uh while still like listing full time and i thought that was interesting because it really does start with the why like dave always says start with your why why are you doing what you're doing um so he wakes up steve wakes up and does like a whole routine he says his affirmations he's in the gym like two hours a day and then he's like a full-time i guess um he does like retail arbitrage and he does um he specializes in like men's uh, men's clothing but he's just he's got he's very productive and i think the problem um a lot of people face is they want to do things but they, they don't either have the energy or um the right strategy so i think for me um there are a couple different things that have kind of um, helped me find more time for things in my life. And number one, again, is that finding your why. Why are you doing what you're doing? Number two is really having the right approach and deciding how um, how you're going to go about doing something. And number three is having a convincing enough um, sort of momentum behind you. Because once you have why you're doing something and how you're gonna do it, the get actually getting it done can kind of start to run on its own once you've got it done a few times. Um, having that sort of in place, it, you learn that it sort of feeds on each other and it feeds on itself and it, it'll gain momentum. So, um, I guess from a personal standpoint, I obviously haven't been putting that into practice because I've been gone from YouTube for so long. And I think the problem was I lost sight of why I was doing this and um, what I hope to achieve. And I'm hoping also by coming back that I will remember um, why it's, this started because it's really to, it's not so much about like, um, knowledge or sharing because the, we're not sharing anything new like the people that that I really admire aren't saying anything new they're just showing you how it's done they're taking the information that they already have and they're showing you how to put it into practice so that's going to be sort of more the aim of my channel and what I'm doing right now um it's it's gonna take I'm gonna because what I'm working on right now is, is strategy is now I know what I want to do and why it's how do I get there so that's sort of what I'm in the process of and it is really just sitting down and finding the time saying I'm gonna carve out that hour or whatever to sit with a pad and a pen and just brainstorm and I think that's sometimes just being very disciplined with yourself like that's one of the the number one things in finding time is just discipline to actually sit down and do it so that's sort of my random ramblings on the thought of um of time and where to find it um it's not time it's it's motivation um and also a quick shout out to raymond zhang uh, who sent me a message i did read your message and thank you so much that was um it, it was so well received and it, it really meant a lot to me uh, and i hope one day when you are a billionaire investor I, mm, I would have a company that you would invest in that would be fantastic um so let's keep in touch <laughs> So thank you also so much for watching um, and I hope that you'll stay along for the ride. Thank you for sticking in in there this long if, if you're sort of a long time, you know, you're you're in change subscriber since I've been on YouTube um, and I hope to have more sort of more to come. Um, not not out, just kind of finding my way back in. So thank you so much for taking time with me and I hope to see you again soon. If you haven't and you'd like to, please subscribe. Uh, it would mean a lot as well. So thanks. Bye.